Hello YouTube, Yamades. Welcome back to our hardcore series, season two, episode four. Let's go. And here we are in front of our lovely villagers because today, today is the day we upgrade to diamonds. Yes, you heard me. I have been living with leather boots and iron leggings or iron gear for way too long. I've been trading away and now I believe I have enough to get a full set of diamond armor. So let's see. So honestly, projectile proje yeah, protection, unbreaking and unbreaking one. So not the worst for everything, but I definitely want to try my luck uh, with the uh, enchantment table. But here we are. Let's go ahead and get all decked out here. Let me get this on. And looking good. Okay, so now that we've gotten that, I want to try and upgrade the rest of my uh equipment and stuff as well um i need to let's get three six nine twelve Ooh, what let's see since we are level 30 i might as well just go ahead and disenchant let's say our chest plate hmm actually what is the most uh useful enchantment that i can think of maybe the helmet stuff with like aqu mm, aqua affinity we have that um anyways let's go ahead and disenchant yeah let's just start with our helmet i guess uh let me grab the lapis lazuli and hopefully we don't get too uh shafted with the enchantments like i did my first round uh oh yeah let's go ahead Let's keep Aqua Affinity for now. I don't like the chest plate as much. Yeah, let's just do the chest plate. Go in there, take that off, and protection four. Perfect. I like that already. And we got shafted. That's Ooh, okay. Yeah, that is um Kanashi. That is very, very Kanashi, which means sad. Very, very sad. I have been getting so unlucky with these enchantments. But, uh, yeah, you can see I was trading a whole lot. But let's go ahead and put our equipment in here. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll put that in the way. And what else do we not need right now? All right, so now that we've done, <laughs> jeez, now that we are all set up and geared out with our diamond armor, though, what I want to do this episode is explore a lot of the 1.20 um, items, this meaning I want to go get some uh, armor trim and get some decked out gear, uh, and then we'll come back um, and uh, do some more building around our base area. One thing I do want to finish is this uh, horrendous bridge behind me change it from our dirt bridge into something nice and then other things i also want to try and search for pandas i've been wanting to make a like i'll call them like a pandarmy pandarmy um and have them just living around our little mountaintop i believe that i feel like that'd be so cool have a little pandarmy and um yeah so um pandas and some 1.20 uh items is what we are after today so i need to go make myself a brush i actually don't know what that would be off the top of my head and so let me look that up we'll make a brush and we'll use our map and we'll go and explore some more and we'll go pretty much just to figure out the rest of this map and yeah hopefully we'll find a tr uh, what is it a trail ruin i believe is what they're called along the way and who knows some other stuff but yeah i don't know which armor trim in particular i want uh, if honestly at this point anything would be pretty cool so yeah let's go ahead i'm gonna make myself that brush and then we'll go out and do some exploring with our new gear 
So really quick, it looks like to build the brush you do need a feather. Luckily we have a lot of these chickens hanging around over here I believe. So hopefully I can collect... Yep, perfect. Got a feather there. And you need one copper uh, ingot as well as a stick. And uh, let's go... I could... Oh, there we go. I've got a crafting table up here. Yeah, I still haven't done any detailing or interior work for either of these places yet. Then I'm not too good with interior right now, I'd say. So I'll have to do that as the as the time comes along. But for now, we are just going to leave it as is. Let's place that back down. Okay, but yeah, now I've got my brush. Um, let's say I hopefully Mm, maybe I'll change out my food, but yeah, after that, let's start heading out and then I'll start recording again once we find anything cool along the way. Okay, um, first thing we've found since exploring, since I've started exploring, is another village. It is just south, yeah, south of our other village, so pretty close, honestly. Um, let me pull this. Yeah, so you can see our base with all that pink and the red, the red building uh, right in there on the map. But yeah, if we go over here, I believe, uh, I wonder how big this village is. It mm, might be kind of small. Actually, it's not. Yeah, it is a small village. I don't think we'll have anything too interesting to find over here but that's nice yeah nice that there is another village and i actually just might yeah honestly not a whole lot i wonder if there's any chests at all even and i am now realizing i forgot to um bring a bed with me yep so i'm gonna take that thank you and yeah, we'll just loot this up and I guess we'll keep exploring. Looks like another village here off to the east of our last village. And yeah, you can see I've gone quite a bit off of our uh, map here. And it's still been pretty, pretty uneventful other than these villages to be quite honest. And I'm... Not sure what the rarity is. I'm finding a trail ruin, but I'm hoping it, I don't have to go too far out to um, find them because I really would like to find some new 1.20 uh, stuff at least. And if all else fails, I believe the shipwrecks are a, have like a higher chance on finding a some sort of. Uh, uh, what is it? The trim. So I might have to just do that and just test my luck with an ocean. But yeah, this uh, village already has a lot more than our first village. So I'll just continue to, I don't know, loot up, I guess, and <laughs> raid these villages. Alright, currently fighting a skeleton because I saw some dogs earlier. And I kind of want to... Yeah, like I said, I kind of want to tame one. Perfect. And of course, of course, there would be no bones. Uh, but yeah, um, still very, very uneventful. Uh, the dogs I found were in the bottom right of the corner in that foresty area. So uh, I'll need to go back there once I do have some bones if I do want my self a little doggo but um honestly i don't know what the rarity is for these trail ruins or even any t um any kind of building at this point i'll find an outpost i'll search it uh, i want to find a desert get a desert temple just want to find some good stuff um but yeah really uneventful other than those two villages that we've found so far um but yeah we'll still keep going since that's all i really can do 
All right, so I'm thinking once I finish this map, I'm just gonna go keep going east since I already know that there's a bamboo jungle over there. Um, I'll probably have a higher chance of finding at least the pandas for today's uh, objectives that I can find. Um, and so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish off the rest of this map, head on my way back to base. I'll create another map that is the three-fourth size and then once we get far enough uh, east uh, we'll do that map out that area as best as we can hopefully find at least a panda I'm sure there should be one considering that it was a bamboo jungle I believe that was over there if I remember correctly uh, there was definitely a jungle so I believe there should be at least a bamboo jungle uh, but yeah, uh, this map, honestly, other than the two villages that we have on this map, or I guess three, considering we have, we're also living in one, not bad. Um, uh, it's pretty cool that we have so many, uh, villages all clustered together, I guess, but did not find any of that new 1.20 stuff that I was hoping for. So hopefully with this next map that I start, we'll be a little bit more lucky with some of the items or some some of the new terrain stuff. And I'm not even sure if uh, that stuff is only spawns in like a specific biome. Because I will say a lot of the biomes that are around here are just the plains or just the uh, forest, if that makes sense. But yeah, uh, head back, get a new map, and then once I'm over at the far enough uh, east, we'll yeah work on that new map. Okay, I've gone ahead and we've started our second map over here. Uh, I've named the, our original map Home Map, and then this will probably be East Map. <laughs> How original, right? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hopefully we'll explore this area and get lucky, please. <laughs> Fingers crossed for sure. Looks like I've come across a ruined portal at least. I wonder if there's any good loot. Nope. Nothing. Um, but yeah, we are now in the mangrove swamp and I believe the jungle was just on the other side of here so what I might actually do is veer a little bit north and then try and hopefully find a jungle that way and at least the bamboo I love this water it's so cool uh, at least the atmosphere of the mangrove but yeah let's go ahead and actually make our way over there to find ourselves a panda hopefully This will also be a place I have to explore once I get back, but yeah, I have found the bamboo jungle and I've uh, yet to find a panda though, but this cave did catch my eyes, so we will have to come back once I'm uh, more equipped with uh, better armor and I definitely want a totem, that is for sure. But, um, I've yet to see a panda, and I will say that my frames are dropping quite a bit in this area, so. Uh, I'm hoping we'll find a panda here soon. Okay, so I've been, <laughs> I've been looking for a panda for like the last 30 minutes, and I have not, I haven't found one. I'm starting to second guess if it's even real. <laughs> If it even exists here like this I've explored all of this behind me uh, I've not seen a single panda currently going more east to try and find a panda or try my luck here but not seeing anything if anything I'm just seeing a bunch of stupid cows and um, chickens but no panda I honestly thought it'd be a lot easier. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, cool. Oh my gosh, finally. And it's a brown one, I think. 
Come on, bro. Yes. Wow. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that. Oh, I was about to give up. Yeah. <gasps> oh, so cute, bro. Get in. No. <gasps> yes. Okay. Um. What am I? How do I get back? What am I doing? Where am I going? Well, so now the journey is to bring this fella back. And I... So there's water here. I'm hoping I can just... Um... Oh, dang. Do I just... Yeah, I gotta build a thing all the way going that way because that's home. Uh, So, now... The, yeah, I'm so happy I found this panda. I literally did not think I was going to find one. Oh, and it's so cute. Okay. Yeah, now let's bring him home. At least we've gotten one objective done today. Or half of it. The other half is getting this this guy back home. And we'll have to name him as well. I don't have a name tag though, so I will need to do that. But yeah, let's go ahead and bring him home. This panda's pathfinding is actually just so awful. This is taking forever to even just get him this far. Um, yeah, we're not even, we're not even halfway there. Like it does this, where it just can't jump over one block. And oh my gosh, it's really yeah. Holy crap, this is awful. This is. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, thank you. He finally made that jump. Um, let's at least get you at top so I can put you in a boat. <laughs> this is... No, please. Please, come with me. All right. 20 minutes later, we are getting closer, but not quite there yet. But yeah, um, it's been... 25 minutes if I'm tracking this correctly and uh, the rivers have been helping me a lot uh, putting him in the boat and taking him that way uh, panda forgot how to jump and cannot get up here it happened over there but I don't know what's going on but I feel like uh, this is not right this is not good man I don't know what goes on with pandas, but they just like seem to forget how to jump. Oh, you did it. You did it. Great job, buddy. Get up here, please. Um, but yeah. Oh my goodness. This is horrendous. I The fact that I have to try and find another one and do this all over again, quite honestly, it's oh, just scares me <laughs> the fact that i have to spend so much time doing this all over again um come on bro please no for now he's going to blend in with the sheep hang here here with the sheep until i can give him a proper uh place to hang out but man that was honestly so awful that was so hard and he's still not here Okay, um, I still need to go out and find some more stuff uh, for this 1.20 thing. Come on, bro, please just get in here. Oh, we did it! Our first panda. After literally, what is now, 35 minutes. 35 minutes it took me for this guy to finally bring him over. Man, that is insane. Okay. Anyways, this is what this map looks like because I had no interest in trying to fill out the map. Um, you can see the kind of path that I took there. But yeah, now that we've got one panda, let's go ahead and just do some more searching for the 1.20. Any of the armor things, armor details. So let's go ahead and look for those. Well, 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 I have yet to find a freaking armor trim, um, and I'm level 5. You may be wondering why I am level 5. Well, uh, a lot of things. First thing to explain the level 5, I have been enchanting this sucker, the trident, and I'm, <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but I got the impaling 5 
But that is after um, I've uh, <laughs> combined multiple books. So uh, one of the librarians that I have was selling an Impaling 2. And I just bought enough of those to make this uh, level 5 book. But now I have no levels to put it on my trident. So we're stuck with the Loyalty 3 Mending Trident for now. Um, I also did get an iron sword from one of the villagers. And yeah, it's like, as you can see, I've filled out east map, my north map, and I'm currently about to go fill out my west map. And, um, and what's crazy is I found one village here up in the north map, two villages here on our home map, and I don't, I don't recall it, but there are a couple of, um, which is huts, I believe, somewhere. Um, but yeah, honestly, even with all that, I, there was a couple of shipwrecks actually. There was one shipwreck, and I believe, where did I put it? Yeah, I got a heart of the sea and a couple of diamonds from there. But honestly, the these trail ruins are super hard to find. I can't remember. I, you know, I've got a lot of these doggos now too. And I've also upgraded quite a bit in my uh, the villager breeder area. I'll have to go check that out really quick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go explore west now, hopefully. And we'll. F I'm really hoping to find at least one armor trim <laughs> this episode. So let's go ahead and yeah, I'll just do, uh, do some more exploring out west and see if I can't find anything. Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so, um, finally something cool, I believe. I think this is, a, a dustable. It is, okay, and just the hole. Perfect. All right, um, yeah, we continue the, uh, the search for cool stuff but yeah that was neat I guess finding our first uh, suspicious dirt gravel whatever it might be oh, get out of here but yeah let's uh continue on searching <laughs> and there we have it our first pottery shard let's go so that's pretty cool. Looks like there's some more here. Armor trim. Nope, this is just wheat. <gasps> Yay! I finally found it! Coast armor trim, finally! Holy crap. Yes, finally we have trim, 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 trim. Um, oh crap, oh shoot, nope, 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 nope. I, ooh. Ooh. We did it, the coast armor trim. Finally, at least something. Oh, wow, that literally, this adventure has taken hours. Um, oh, there's even more, and there's moss, uh, let's leave that for now, is there anything else, nope, oh, wow, what a ship, what a perfect ship, finally, okay, um, I can't even think now, it's been hours, it's literally been hours trying to find some stupid trim, uh, I think that's gonna be it for our trim finding for this episode, I'm going to head back to the base and see what this looks like because, yeah, we finally did it after literally hours of searching. Man, I think it was total. There's so actually there's another village at the bottom here. So five villages, uh, three or four shipwrecks, a couple of um, other things later. We've finally found it, the Coast Armored Trim. And yeah, I have no idea what it looks like right now. Uh, so we'll just head back 
to base and finally get some uh, customization on our armor. Let's go! I see another trident wielding uh, drowned. Let's see if I can't get lucky. And get another one. Did that drop? Looks like it was just copper. Yeah, just copper, unfortunately. Yeah, we're headed back to base. As we approach base, I really think that you need Elytra to go out to search for all the coast, or not the trim, uh, not coast, but armor trim. It took me hours just to even find this trim, which was literally, um, just west of my map. And I even went north and east and that, Filling those two maps out on the 3-4 scale still didn't find it. So I I think for the other trims, we're just going to have to either get lucky along the way while we're exploring or literally just get some elytra here. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys really quick the little setup I've got over here for our curing station. So, as you know, the iron bars will help speed up the process, but I've got these little pods here, and if I throw a splash potion of weakness here in the middle here with this torch, it'll hit all of them, and I can just get six for one, if that makes sense. I've got my zombie here, and then let me show you. So, um, as soon as I have a villager here, if I were to hit this button, a minecart would come out, pop up here. I give them the workstation right here, so if I had the cartography table, place that there. More often than not, they'll take up that uh, profession, and then I just hit them up over here. And then once they get converted by our zombie, I just put them in this pod and I just turn it off so that it just goes in here. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good system on how I have it all worked out. Um, obviously you can do different setups and layouts, but I also did create this upstairs area and I don't know what I'll use it for. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and find a smithing table, I believe. I think I should have one down here. And, um, let's see. Yeah, looks like I've got a couple of smithing tables. So let's pick up one of those. Honestly, I don't need that map. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. And let's go ahead back up to base. And I think I want gold on this armor trim. So let's go ahead and get that all ready. Okay. I've got my inventory pretty much cleared up. And since I only have the four, I'm going to save the one to duplicate that at least. So we can work with three for now. And let's see. Um, what other... I think there was the quartz. Um, is it the shard, I think? That might work. And I don't know if I have the nether quartz anywhere. I do. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a look at this one. And let's start off with, oh, green, nope, can't even see it. Gold looks sick, for sure. White, maybe, so we'll just put the gold there. Red? Hmm, I don't know how I feel about the red one, let's put that there. Purple also does look good, I'll say that, and ooh. White actually looks really good. Let's actually see what it looks like on there. As well as the boots. Mm. Oh man. Oh boy. I think we're gonna go with... I think we gotta go with the white, right? It looks clean, does it not? Gold looks good too though. Yeah, um, I don't, oh man, I think white might not be as noticeable though. Will it? 
Yikes. Okay. Um, so gold looks like that and white. Ooh, let's go with gold. I think gold looks fancy and I like it. Okay. Let's see how pimping we are. That looks good to me. That looks really good. Okay. Uh, what I need to do now is pretty much just get the OP armor and OP tools. And then I'm thinking we're going to call this video good. Because um, I've got some more pods over there for the iron farm as well. Uh, should be enough iron to let me trade. Get a lot of experience try and maybe re-enchant all these items that i have uh hopefully get something a whole lot better if not i'll just start training with a ton of villagers for them but yeah i really like the armor trim even though it takes forever to find them um but yeah i really do think that we're just going to have to use um elytras to go and search for those because that was ridiculous uh the amount of time that took to just find this i mean we look good that is for sure but yeah i'm going to finish off this episode by getting as much uh the op god tier armor that i can and then we'll call it there and here we have it folks i've got my armor and i've got my tools all set up now uh, i'll just show you really quick before we end this video but let's open my inventory yeah i pretty much uh need some respiration and protection on this i need protection on pretty much all of eh, just the pants and the helmet uh, but yeah, pretty much got everything else upgraded. I even upgraded the coast armor trim uh, for our leggings there. Got found some more gold or diamonds and duplicated the uh, coast armor trim. So yeah, that's still in base. But yeah, looking good all decked out there. I got my tools. I got my sube sube, uh, which kind of just pretty much just translates to smooth. Uh, and so yeah, that's our silk touch. And then kanemochi, which means rich. Uh, yeah, for our fortune. Uh, the other stuff still haven't worked on. I got a pretty OP iron sword. I'll need to upgrade that to diamond here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I did a, some fishing, as you can see, with some of the fish I caught over here. But that will be it for today's episode. Uh, thank you all so much for in, uh, joining me on our trip to find that panda over there. Uh, in our next episode, I will actually be creating a little place for the guy, uh, as you can see behind me, uh, right there. But that will be it uh, in the next episode. So... Thank you all so much. As always, guys, arigatou gozaimasu and sayonara. See you next time.